In this tutorial, we're going to start to take a look at the form helper in CodeIgniter, and we're also going to take a look at the validation class. Forms are a very big part of CodeIgniter, and uh, they're also one of the main reasons why people uh, choose to use a framework. Um, if we had to write all of the code for our, our own validation on forms, um, it would take a lot of time. So this is one part of CodeIgniter that will save us a lot of time because we don't have to write our own functions to do validation on data that comes through forms. So um, this lesson is going to be an introduction to forms and validation and I'm sure we'll talk more about them later. So the form helper file contains functions that assist in working with forms and I also have the validation thing here and um, CodeIgniter provides a compre comprehensive form validation and data prepping class that helps minimize the amount of code you'll write. So let's start off. Um, let's start off right here, and we have um, we have a simple form here. We have an email and password. This is the input type password. So everything's getting started out here, and we should put an email in here. Um, let's go to the controller first. And um, the first thing we're doing is we're loading in the URL helper, I'm loading in the form helper, and I'm also loading in the form validation class like this. Okay. And um, let's go to the view first. And the first thing I'm doing here is I'm saying um, if this email variable is set and if password is set, then we're going to run this and we're going to output um, this data that was put into the forms. And if not, uh, basically we're just showing the form. So let's see where these guys come from. I'll go back to the home controller and um, we can see down here um, they're getting created right here. So um, if I, you know, like we talked about before, if I have my data array here and um, whatever um, elements are in here well when we use these in the view they're gonna look like this uh, dollar sign email but in the controller they're like this so um, let's start off with the form actually the first thing I'm doing is um, I'm echoing out this validation errors function so if somebody um, did something wrong in our form such as they didn't put an email here and we can try this I'll click login it's going to give us an error message like this. The email field must contain a valid email address. I didn't write. I didn't need to write any code to do this. Um, all I had to do was put in this function, and um, it did that. And we can customize those um, those error messages if you want to. Uh, the next thing I'm doing is I'm using this form open function, and what this is going to do is it's going to create the opening form tags. And if I don't pass anything in here, what it's going to do is it's going to um, submit it to the current URL. So if I look at the source here, uh, we can see that. Let's see here. So form. So this is what it did. Action is set to the current URL. So it's submitting to itself. The method is post. Um, we always use post in CodeIgniter and um, accept char set okay so that's what that did there um, just by doing this if you want to submit if you want the action to be another page then you will just um, pass it inside the uh, quotation marks here wherever you want to submit it to the next thing I'm doing is I'm making a label for my um, my username input and then we're coming in here and I'm doing this form input tag right here and what this is going to do is create um, the input so we have the name of the input here and uh, the second parameter is for the value of the form input and right here I've set the value to um, if somebody submitted this form already and there was an error in it well when it goes back to it it's going to save the value by doing this so we put the set value function here and we pass in the name of the input which I've created right here and it's going to save that so um, for example if I typed a bunch of T's here and then a password well that's not a valid email when I click login 
it's going to save this so the person they wouldn't need to um, type in their email again for example if they had like this and they you know just forgot to put the period here well that's all going to get saved now I can just add my period and it's a valid email so that's a pretty handy function and um, for the password uh, this form password function is exactly the same as the form input um, but of course it's going you're not going to be able to see the letters in it we pass in the name of the uh, form here and here is the value but um, you know with a pass with the password you usually just want to leave this empty so I just put an empty string right there and the next thing that I did was um, I'm creating this this hidden this hidden element right here and uh, let's take a look at that in the source and so with the hidden one what I did was I created this here input type equals hidden name equals URL and the value is right there and so and all I had to do was put this right here so the value um, that I you know that I want to submit is I'm saying that to the current URL and we looked at um, this function before so if you don't know what this function is um, just look at the previous tutorial but but actually all it does is it gets the URL so I'm storing this um, into this variable and then I'm passing this variable in as this as the value for this uh, this input or for this hidden form field um, finally this form submit is going to give it the name and the value of the submit button that's form submit and then I'm closing the form here okay let's go over to the controller so once we do all that and we put in our stuff um, so here we actually we have a valid email here and I'll put in a password of pass and I'll click login and you, we can see what happens here so um, I'm outputting the username and the password and I'm checking the passwords length and this is my hidden form field right here and I'm just showing the array right here. Actually, I think I can delete that array. We don't need to show that. And um, I'll take this off right here. Okay. Okay. Um, so, so this was um, in this case it was set, and we showed all that stuff. Let's go back to the controller, and let's go to the top here. So once it's submitted, um, the first thing we're doing is we're using, um, because we loaded in the form validation library, here we're going this and then we're accessing this, accessing this form validation property and then the set rules method. Okay. So what this set rules does is it's basically going to check if the, um, uh, the data that we sent in is, uh, is how we want it and if this stuff doesn't check out then this is going to be false this run method is going to be false and we're going to load the view again okay but if this returns true if all this stuff checks out then this run method is going to return true and then we're going to be able to um, we're going to create these variables and then we're going to um, load in the view again this time passing the data okay passing in this new data that we got from the form and then when that gets passed in we go back to the view and um, these things are going to be set so now the email variable is set this is set and then we can output this information okay so um, let's take a little look at these uh, this uh, set rules method so the first thing that it takes is um, the name of the input or whatever you know form element is the name of the um, the form element so email this is the human readable value as a second parameter so this is used for the error messages so it's going to um, use this to make the um, error message um, a bit more friendly so the error messages comes from the um, 
let's see this validation errors. So those those two guys are working together. And um, the third thing is is um, what we're checking for, and we're going to separate these um, these things with the pipe character. Okay, so um, this email is required, and we want to run the trim method on it to trim off any white space on the sides, and we're also checking that it's a valid email. So this um, set rules method is not just checking things; it's also doing some things to the data. For example, like this trim by putting this trim here, it is going to run the trim function on it, and it's going to trim off. Um, any white space. The next one is the password. We have the name here, human readable value, and then it's required, and we're going to do the trim on that too. And then the next one is for um, the hidden URL one. So the name and that, and that's also required. So if all of these check out, then this is going to return true, and then we can go down here and we can show all the stuff that we did. Uh, that we put into our forms. But if something here isn't as it's supposed to be, such as um, we have an invalid email, then we're getting the error message, okay? And we can see the human readable value right there. Um, one thing that I wanted to point out about this is um, just like I was saying about the um, trim method, so it's also doing things to our data. So this is Basically, this stuff right here is saving us so much time because we don't need to write all this stuff ourselves. So, um, if I put in a valid email here, and um, and for example, I put I'm going to write pass here, so P A S S, and then I'm going to put uh, a bunch of spaces after it. So these are all spaces, okay? And I'm going to push a login and then it's telling me my email address and the password and you can see here if the password length is four so all of those spaces got trimmed off right here okay and I think that's just about everything I want to talk about this tutorial and uh, like I said I'm sure we'll be talking about uh, more about forms in the coming tutorials thanks for listening